Hey everybody, check this out. This is Kevin Nealon's new book. You don't want to miss this. I exaggerate my brushes with fame. This book is awesome. I'm not just saying this because I'm trying to be a nice guy. Seriously, if you like comedy, if you like caricature, if you like awesome stories, interesting stories about comedy or different actors or anything like that, you gotta check out this book. It's so awesome. Kevin's been working on this book for a couple years and he's put a lot of work into this book. Before I get into anything else, I'm gonna go through a couple things real quick just to show you because um, I'll just show you a couple of my favorites. But what I really like about this book, oh, here's a great one of Anthony Bourdain. Check that out, check it out. But what's really cool about this book is not only does Kevin do this really cool artwork, but then he writes um, hilarious and interesting stories about the, either he met the person and hung out with them or they were a guest on SNL or something like that. Uh, so he's got a funny story to tell or just about how that person inspired him in some way or something like that. But anyways, it's really cool. Um, I want to show you a couple of my favorites. I love this one of Robert Plant. It's really awesome. Hilarious caricature, great likeness, awesome story. Prince, one of the best caricatures of Prince I've seen. It's really, really solid, really good piece. Beautiful one of Elizabeth Taylor. Very nice. Also, another great story. Carrie Fisher. Who doesn't love Carrie Fisher? Ooh, I love this one. Howard Stern. I think this is one of his best caricatures. It's really good. It's awesome. Fantastic Chris Rock. So good, you want to just slap him. This is one of my favorites in the whole book. Um, I love Chris Farley. And I think that he completely captured him 100%. Such a great um, choice of exaggeration, really good likeness. Um, and again, the story's great. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And, and the, the, um, this, this particular painting almost reminds me of like a, like a gouache painting. Uh, it just has like an old school illustration feel to it that I really like. And I'll show you one more before I tell my story. This, this one is one of my favorite in the whole book um, and it's of the great Lauren Michaels um, of course he's the the head honcho over at SNL and uh, I just love the structure in, in this drawing the likeness I mean, overall it's just a really really solid caricature um, I love the coloring uh, the use of color I should say yeah it's a great piece the other thing that's really awesome of course I've said this already about this book there's so many there's so many fun good caricatures in here but um, the one, this one that really, I'm only halfway through the book reading it. I mean, I've kind of hopped through, if I'm being honest. Um, um, I haven't re been reading it in order. I've been reading it, um, just flipping through. Oh, I want to read about this person. So it's kind of a fun way to do it. But one of my favorite stories so far has been this one of Johnny Carson, which is excellent. And it's actually a caricature of Johnny from the night that Kevin debuted on Late Night with Johnny Carson. Uh, or The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, I should say. And I got to tell you, reading the story um, was so nerve-wracking um, for me. Uh, just reading it, with, I could feel Kevin's anxiety um, and how excited and how nervous he was to go on The Tonight Show um, and how he just wanted to get it just right and how much he was sweating and um, worried he was going to forget what he was going to say. And um, I can relate so much doing comedy that nerve-wracking feeling just just before getting up to do a regular show um sometimes you get up there and people are clapping and you are like oh my gosh what was my what was my opening line again that that happens um but on the tonight show <laughs> with johnny carson um it's just the story had me feeling super nervous um and it was funny and it was exciting and it was so good that i had to go and look up um on on the youtubes um his actual first appearance and n now watching it knowing what he went through and how he was feeling and and the excitement of being called to the couch it was uh it's, it's just it, i mean it, I, I laughed so much more just watching it really great five minute set by kevin um, and it totally was a life changer for him and an amazing experience. And so anyways, all of these stories and much more are in this book. I highly recommend it. It's a great book. You can get it on Amazon. You can get just Google it. You'll find a link. Um, I'll leave a link here somewhere as well. If you love comedy, if you love Kevin Nealon, if you love caricature art, 
this is the book for you. Perfect book for Christmas. Uh, check it out. Support another artist. Um, and oh, before I go, I want to tell you guys a funny story. Um, so reading this, you know, how, you know, reading the story about Kevin um, and, and how he felt about Johnny Carson uh, is kind of in, in a way how I feel about Kevin. Kevin's a friend of mine, um, but, you know, I still get a little nervous, you know, to hang with him because he's you know, a famous guy and I've seen him uh, most of my life. He was on my favorite group of SNL people when I was in high school and uh, we've become friends over the years. But I still feel nervous, you know, especially talking with comedy and stuff because he's a legend. He's an, he's he's Kevin Nealon. The other night, Kevin doesn't even know this, by the way. The other night we went to dinner. I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but we were downtown Chicago and it was a really nice restaurant. And we're having a great talk about art, about comedy. And my food comes and it was amazing. It was like this um, uh, free range chicken. You know, they let the chicken free they freed the chickens and then we and then, I, then i ate the chicken <laughs> but anyways uh free range chicken with vegetables and everything and they brought on this heavy iron skillet this thing was super heavy and it was so hot and the first thing i did is i took a i took a bite of a of a tomato as i took a bite of that tomato it exploded in my mouth and i swear i got like a second degree burn the juices just exploded over my teeth my my roof of my mouth instantly i had skin hanging from the roof of my mouth and it was so painful my eyes watered kevin's like you okay and i'm like and i didn't i didn't want to spit it out in front of kevin nealon so i just swallowed it and it felt like dragon acid just uh, uh, all down my throat it was so bad and, I'm, and i was just like something went down the wrong tube <laughs> he's like oh yeah so it was really embarrassing but i think i pulled it off i don't think he noticed i could barely eat my dinner because my the roof of my mouth started bleeding i took my napkin i went like that and it was blood that's how bad i got burned from that tomato that place should put a warning on that dish by the way i'm glad that kevin's uh first time on the tonight show with johnny carson didn't go that way uh it was much more successful so anyways thank you kevin for this book um and thank you for uh hanging out this last weekend in chicago it was so much fun and everyone please go check this book out I, again i highly recommend it it's awesome and uh until next time love you guys see you soon mm -hmm.